you can ambush players because you'll know that they will generally follow the like water. They'll they'll go down the easiest route. We all know that you're incredibly good at concealment, and you can just vanish uh, into the desert, into the jungle, really any way you want. How did you learn all about camouflage and concealment? I guess I've always loved hide and seek. Even as a kid, it was my favorite game. It was hide and seek. You know, you just went pro at hide and seek then. I think so, yeah. That's how I see my airsoft game. I'm playing hide and seek. I don't see myself playing a, a simulation of a military sniper. I see myself playing a game, a game of hide and seek. Um, but how did I get good at making ghillie suits and, and concealment outfits? I get, I just look. I look at the environment. I look at how I fit in. I was always... I said, I, I'm not sure. I just taught myself, really. I, I, there were there were some videos I watched. I was always... I remember when YouTube kind of started 15 years ago. I was always interested in watching the military guys making ghillie suits on there. I think when I started Airsoft. Yeah, I, I've seen a few of those. They're, they're quite interesting. Yeah, and th- those, those old technologies were... They're still... All those old techniques of shape, shine, silhouette. All of those old techniques are, are still quite important. Even... Even things that I, I don't know, I, 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 when I'm out, out and about in the forest and I'm looking at what the environment around me, and when I spot nature, things like deer, when I spot a deer, you, I tend to spot it because of the horizontal back. And when I'm in the forest, I've always thought there's no, not many horizontal lines. You obviously get horizontal tree branches, but I see guys trying to sneak around in the forest and often they're hunched over with their guns. And I, I've always had this belief that they're, that's why I spot deer. So when I'm sneaking in the forest, I tend to be, upright with my gun down upright like a tree and so i'm moving slowly with like my feet together i don't want to have my feet apart because there's not many trees which are like that with big gaps in the middle so i keep my feet together and be upright just and all this stuff is just is just observation and trial and error and the great thing about playing airsoft is you can try it every week try these different techniques and often it's just a confidence trick just having confidence in your concealment knowing how you fit into the environment and that comes from practice, looking at your, taking pictures of yourself, taking videos of yourself when you're out there. And um, yeah, it's, it's a confidence trick a lot of the time because people aren't people. If you're not moving often, people aren't looking for people, things that aren't moving or if you're standing in them, sometimes you're standing in the middle of nowhere. But if you're together and you've got a veil over your head and the, if the shadows are just right, you're standing in the shadows. Sometimes people just don't even think that can't be a person because he's not standing there with the gun out with his legs apart. They don't twig that it's someone there if you're stood in a certain way. Sometimes it's about fitting in rather than even hiding. Sometimes it's not possible to disappear. Sometimes it's possible just to fit in rather than to blend in. And that's kind of my ethos a lot of the time. It's just, it's just observation. Like even when you're at an airsoft field and you haven't, if you haven't played there much before, you can often see where people are going to be walking. But even things like the tracks, you can see where players generally walk in fields they've got all the tracks. So I'll you can you can ambush players because you'll know that they will generally follow the like water they'll they'll go down the easiest route so you can if you go off the easiest route and get line of sight so it's yeah the clues are out there and it's i don't think i think it'd be hard to I, i've never seen a video or vlogs or blogs about beyond those seven s's that the snipers schools always teach i've never seen anything beyond that and i guess it's instinct looking observing and and knowing how you fit into your environment